today I'm talking about two things that happened recently. Uh, two rallies that happened not the weekend that just passed, but the weekend before that. There was a rally, um, a pro-life rally on Saturday in San Francisco. And then there was an anti-presidential rally in Oakland. There is, I guess there's a black chick running on the Democrat side and she's doing pretty good. I'm not sure what her name is. I really don't care for the same reason that I didn't go to that rally. I was going to. I was pretty much dedicated to going to at least one of those rallies, and I ended up not going going to either one. And I'm going to explain that. I Okay, so number one, that chick who's running for president. I didn't go, I didn't go to that rally. I didn't want to go to that rally because I didn't want to give her any attention. A lot of people don't seem to understand when these people who talk shit about Trump and were doing nothing but talking shit about Trump the, during the entire campaign and just, just giving reason after reason for why he's a horrible person and why he'll never be president and he's just gonna, he's not gonna win. Well, I mean, it was all that stuff that kind of made me look into him, you know, and so usually a, what, what, ends up happening. People just, so there are certain people out there that just can't conceive that. They don't understand how how you saying mean things about this person over there could, couldn't pos how does that give somebody a positive opinion about them? To them, there are, people, there are a certain amount of people out there who truly believe that as long as they're, they're criticizing something, that everybody is going to go along with that negativity. They're going to adopt that same negative opinion about that person or that thing, as long as that person just keeps talking smack about it. And, you know, that's, those are the people, that, that's another big chunk, those people right there were a big chunk of why Donald Trump got elected. And it, it made people like me want to look, want to take a look for myself. It's like, you know, is he really that horrible? Is he really that such a bad guy? You know, it, it's, it's publicity. People don't understand, certain people don't really understand that even bad publicity is still publicity. So, I didn't want to give her any attention. So I didn't go. <laughs> and second, uh, so the rally on on um, in San Francisco that was a pro-life rally. Uh, so some of you guys might remember I said in a video uh, a while back at the Smash Bros release that there's a lot of things there's a lot of things going on in my nog and that I want to talk about. And and there are and this is one of those this is one of those things that I want to talk about. This is one of those things I don't want to talk about. I I definitely definitely don't like talking about this. And um this is something that very very few people know about. I really don't even know where to start. I, I just, I wish, I, I, I think that there's probably a way I could just sum this all up and put it out there, but without, I don't want it to sound like I have no guilt here. And I, at the same time, I don't want guilt here. <clears throat> so, when I was in, in high school, I, I met a girl, a beautiful girl, fell in love, we were together for nearly four years, and in that in that four years, I I, I got her pregnant, and uh, well, we never obviously never had the baby, and it was uh, it was more than once. The first one was the first one was. Well, we, we couldn't do it. I mean, she was 16, I just turned 17. That was just... We were too young. And at the time, here in California, some law had changed to where you can do this without... Yeah, as a minor, you can do this, you can have this operation done, and nobody had to say anything. The parents, the parents of the child didn't have to know. It was all kept quiet. Um, and we took advantage of that. Not like it matters now. 
So we, we went and we got an abortion. In fact, my school helped us, my school, <laughs> Le Glen. So I, there was a couple of people, I guess, in the school who, who knew too. There was a counselor and uh, one of my teachers. And we went and we, we, got, we got an abortion. But it didn't stop there. The second time it happened, And I, I, I just, I know that I, I don't know what, I don't, I don't even know how to say this. I, I tell you this, she told me, she told me that we weren't going to get another abortion. She told me that she was going to have this child. And that I was going to be a father. And I told myself that, too. I accepted that, that that's, that was what my future was going to be. I was going to be a dad. And I started putting myself in the mindset that I am going to be a dad. And... And then she... She comes home one day, and... Well, she... She got an abortion without telling me. A couple weeks later, she comes home and she, she's telling me that, that her friend's mom works at Planned Parenthood and she she gave, gave her an abortion. Which I didn't... I mean, didn't... I just wish she had said something to me. Or at least after telling me that she was going to have the child. So that... that that has weighed on me a lot for a long time i don't i don't know if what we did was the right thing or the wrong thing i just know for a fact that if we had had any of those kids that my life would be extremely different today and god you know i i can't help but know no i i know for a fact that in some ways my life would be so much better in some ways in and I can't imagine in what ways it would be worse, except that, you know, I'm sure that there's there's freedom I have. Anyways, I am... I'm glad that I got that off my chest, and I hope that I'm not looked down upon too much. Yeah, I, I'm murdered three kids of mine. And I feel it. I want to tell you this. I had to watch a lot of my friends at that time. A lot of my friends, guys and girls, girls getting pregnant, getting married, guys getting their girls pregnant, them having the kids. And my kids would have grown up right alongside these friends of mine, who I still see today, who I see their kids, I see them running around and they're seven, eight, nine years old. My kids would have grown up with those kids. And I just... It beats me up when I think about that. I cheated. And I was one of the f few of my friends... I was the only one of my friends who who went down that path and then didn't I, I don't know how to say it it just didn't happen it just it just just didn't happen we made different choices at the very least I, t I would do anything to go back and have that one child that that I knew I was going to have The past is the past, and I accept myself for who I am today, and uh, I, I don't really have much choice in it now. And I am sorry to whoever it may matter. I am so sorry. I am sorry to those, those three kids, and I'm sorry to God. Anyways...
That's my reasons. That's why I didn't go. That's why I didn't attend these rallies this weekend. Last weekend. The week whenever it was. Um, thanks for tuning in. Please, I want to know what you guys' comments are in the bottom. Just let, let me know what... Let me know now what's rolling around in your guys' noggins. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Make America great again. And go with God.